Hello. Hello, Safaraz. How are you? CP, you alright? Yeah. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, sure. I'm okay. Are you okay? Are you yourself? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Uh, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> okay. You know, you remind me when you, when a person he say Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? What does that mean when you say Alhamdulillah? Means all praise to Allah. All so, praise to okay, Allah. I will go. So, thank you. So, guys, when you say Alhamdulillah, it means all praise to Allah. So, why Allah, he says all praise to Allah? Why Allah, he says Alhamdulillah? Because he's saying that all praise is due to him only. My friend, but he is saying, I, I, I ask you, why you say Alhamdulillah? You said, I am thanking Allah. Actually, the tra correct translation is, thank you Allah, not all praise to Allah. Alhamdulillah is thanks to Allah. So, all thanks to Allah. So why Allah, he says all thanks to Allah if he's Allah? Because it's like me saying to people, yeah, all praise to me, Zubair the king. But he, like, he like but he, okay, uh, but okay, he, so he is, he is uh, thanking himself. This is not about praise. No, the word he, hamd, the word hamd is not praise. The word hamd is thanks to Allah. So Allah is saying thank you to Allah. Why? He's not talking to to himself so he's talking to who there's nobody he's talking he's talking to the people creation. okay he's talking to the people saying uh, uh, uh he, he is saying alhamdulillah yeah he's many people saying it clear that all praise is due to him uh-huh it's like it's like, like put, me put the phone in the speaker so we can you can hear me better without putting the phone next to your ears okay so allah he's saying all is thanks to me is that does that make sense to you? Why Allah want to say all things to me? All all praise goes. Yeah, but he is the one who is making the praise. Is is like me telling all people of the UK all praise is to Safraz. All praise is due to me to make it clear. Okay. All praise due to me. And, and, okay, but he is the one is saying it. You know, if you are the one is saying it, it makes sense because you are the followers. You are not the God. But when the God, he says to himself, all praise to me, that's really funny. But anyway, let us go to our topic today so we can see how good you are. Because I saw that you are very excited. So go ahead. What do you want to say to us about the story of Adam and Eve? Go ahead. The story of Adam and Eve, yeah. The story of Adam and Eve is, yeah, they, they were warned by Allah to not go to the tree, to not eat from the tree. And mm. then the shaitan come to him and end the day. Let us go back a few steps and go about the angels. When the angels, they make the accusation and they said, uh, you know, they said to Allah, are you going to create somebody who will do mischievement? Yeah. yeah. Why? Uh, what Allah, uh, what the angels did that? But, I mean, did they make a false accusation? What do you think? Not make a false accusation. They were getting worried, you know, that, that, if 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 he's gonna create a human and and cause you know all all sort of uh, problems. I, I don't understand. What do you mean get worried? Yeah, they, they were worried that like the the humans will be created and then and then the world's getting you know in, in, in chaos. You know, even chaos. Okay, I can tell you are very smart. So now you are saying that they got worried that Allah making a wrong decision. No, but they are angels. They don't know what's right and wrong. So they exactly, exactly, exactly. So they were they were wrong about Allah. They thought Allah is doing a wrong decision because you said not me. This is your words. They were worried. They are worried about what? They are worried that Adam and Eve they will do mischievement. Okay. So they were worried that the decision Allah is making is a bad decision. They. They were just questioning. That's all it is. They are they questioning. Question. Okay, they're questioning how wise is Allah because you just said to me they were worried about such a decision. Yeah. So that was their worry, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so the angels believe that Allah is not smart enough and they were questioning, they were worried, and I'm using your word, they were worried about how smart Allah is. So they were saying to him, are you going to do this? So they are trying to give him advice, correct? Not give advice. They just, they were just scared that, that say for the angels was, uh, they are scared because allah is making a wrong decision no he's not making a wrong decision but you just said they are worried worry about what about creating adam and what it's is their like, worry what what is their worry what they are worried from you said 
they would worry in case in case uh, in case uh, the humans will uh, you know cause uh, corruption. Exactly. Okay. So the angels they are worried that Allah making a stupid decision and this decision will cause chaos. You will create somebody and those bodies they are going to do mischief and bloodshed. So they are trying to correct Allah before it's too late. They were not. Oh, but Allah already knew that these humans in the in the future are gonna are gonna cause corruption anyway. Oh, then he knew. He already knew, obviously. So, okay, if he knew, then why he said to them, uh, when they said that to him, he said, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So if he knew that this is what they would do, then he should agree with them. But Allah did not agree with them. Did Allah agree with the angels that Adam would do mischief? Man? No. Okay, so you are, you are saying to me, Allah, he knew what they know not, and they knew that they are wrong. And their worry is a false worry, but the fact is, Adam and Eve, they would do mischief. So Allah was our own God, and the angels were, they are the God, because angels, they knew the future. Allah do not know the future. Who is was who was right in here, uh, Safar, Safar? Safaraz, who is right? Allah or the angels? Allah was right. How oh, Allah is right? He said to them, no, I know, you, you do not know what are you talking about. You know not, I know, I know what you know not. And he told them that you are not truthful. So because what, okay, when Allah said to them, if you are truthful, he was accusing them of what? Of this sentence, will you place therein those who will make mischief meant therein and shed the blood? So he is saying to them, you are not truthful. Oh my, you're confusing. He's just, he's just telling them, and that you people don't know, you angels don't have a cover. You do not know what? Eh? You do not know what? You don't know about anything. You don't know about anything. Exactly. Anything. You do not know anything, including what? Including that Adam will do mischievement. Oh, my word. He's telling him, and they, you know, it's not your right to say what's right and wrong, you know? Okay, no problem. It's not your right. So, okay, are you saying now that the angels, they made a mistake when they say this is wrong? They just questioned. They, they, they no, questioned. look what you just said. You just said that Allah he is saying to them, it is not your right to say what is right and what's wrong. So you admitted that the angels are accusing Allah of doing something wrong. They, they were just telling Allah, are, are you going to create these things that are going to cause corruption in the future? My friend, That's focus what? focus in your dish, the dish you just provide to me. You just said they are worried about that he will do wrong. So Allah is saying to them, you know not. So the angels, they are worried about him doing wrong by creating the angels. That's what you say to me. So they are worried about them, they will do wrong. And that's mean that Allah is making wrong decision. And they are worried about that. And you said to me, Allah is saying to them, it's not up to you to decide what is right and what's wrong. So did the angels make a mistake and sin when they decide what's wrong and what's right to Allah? Obviously, yes, because you said that, you said, it's not Allah said to them, it's not up to you to say what is right and what is wrong, correct? Yeah. Okay, is it sin to tell, to tell God what's right, what's wrong? Can we tell God you are wrong? Can you tell him you are right? Can you tell him it's up to us? No, obviously no. Exactly. That's mean the angels are sinners. They're not sinners. They question. Well, you just believe. yeah. Is it is it is it right to question the decision of God? It's like bloody Noah. No one people yeah. Noah run. Run where? Noah. Noah hated his people and he would complain to God. He would complain to him. These people never. What does have to do with my question, my, my friend? Listen, focus with me. When you, you said, you said that Allah, he is saying to them, it's not up to you to tell me what is right and what's wrong. Did you say that? Allah is saying, end of the day, I know what's right and wrong. Simple. Okay, you know, but, he, but you said he don't want them to say what is right, what's wrong to him. So the angels, they already made that decision and they decide to say this is wrong. Well, that's their, that, was, that was their opinion. Okay, so this is opinion. Okay, I will go with you. So the opinion of the angels was that Allah is doing wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You guys, did you hear it? Yeah, yeah. But the opinion of the angels, oh, look, look what you just said. Yeah, yeah. So the opinion of the angels, 
is to say to Allah, you are doing wrong, and you say, yeah, 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 okay? That's me in the end, just accusing Allah not to be God because he's doing wrong. Is, is it God is perfect? No, but they're getting scared that, that people are in a coma. But stuff. you just said to me that the angel is accusing Allah to do wrong, and you said to me, yeah, 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 you said three times, yeah, 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 alhamdulillah, yeah, 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 yeah. So you have now three, we have a three, yeah, yeah, from you, my friend, it's completely like perfect now, it's at the Trinity. So now we have three, yeah, 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 approving what you're saying, that the angels, they are accusing Allah of doing wrong, and that is a big sin, because if you accuse God of doing wrong. Accusing. Huh? Questioning. Questioning, that's all it is. Yeah, questioning. but they are questioning the, the decision, and you agreed. You said, they, you know, they are worried that this is wrong. You are the one who, I'm using your words. Unbelievable. They but what? Question. Listen, you were so excited to call me, and now you do not know how to hang up. Don't hang up. I'm asking you, yeah. how in the world you say that they were worried that he is doing wrong, and I say to you, Okay, are you saying that Allah is saying to them, it's not up to, and you are the one who said to me, repeating your words, it's not up to you to say what's right, what's wrong. So you are saying to me that the angels are saying this is wrong, and Allah is saying to them, it's not up to you. And you agree that the angels are accusing Allah of doing wrong. So angels are not really being angels now because they are questioning the, the stability of the mind of this God. He is doing something stupid. But they did not know the outcome of the of, of it all. They, they did not know the future. Exactly. That's make them even more stupid because if they do not know the future, where they get this information from? This is why I'm saying they were just worrying. That's that's all. Okay. So the angels they went to sleep and they saw a bunch of dreams. All of them. They dreamed the same dream that there is a guy and his wife is Eve. They will go to Walmart and they will do shoplifting. You know. And they will do steel, and they will, and they will, uh, you know, if she would put some stuff in her bra, and Adam he will do put some uh, toilet papers in his uh, pant, and they will steal, and they will do bloodshed, they will kill some people in their way, you know. So how they knew that? You said to me they are worried. Okay, how they knew that? How the angels knew the future of the end scene? They knew. They were just questioning that these humans that ended up in a crate that could cause. Corruption. That's all the ACP. There's no, 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 it's not only corruption. Look, read carefully. It says they will make mischief and, and shed blood. It's not about just mischief, man. It's shed blood. So they will be criminals. So you are saying to me they are just worry. Okay, I'm asking you where they got their in worry from. How they knew the future of Adam and his seed. Well, they might knew. Simple. What do you mean you? I'm asking you. You tell me how they knew. They see, I mean, that, the Muslim, he answered me now. Look, he refuted me. They knew, simple, that's it. Well, if they do not know the future, how they knew? There's something wrong in the story here. If the angels are not God, and if your God is the God, if the God is the only one in Islam who knows the unseen, correct? Yeah. Okay. How they knew that the unseen, which nobody saw yet, and Adam is not even created yet, he just told them I will create somebody. He doesn't even exist. So how they knew the end scene and they knew the future? Go ahead. They might be guessing. Mm. Yeah, CP, guessing. They were playing Lotto. So they were guessing that he would do mischief, and they would shed the blood, and they were right because later Adam and his children, they did. Yeah. So they were right yeah. and Allah's wrong. No, Allah was not wrong. What do you mean not wrong? Already... Allah said to them, you're fraud truthful. This is what they said to him. They said, he will do mischief and he will do shed the blood. And Allah, he said to them, I know what you know not, which means what you know is not true. And he confirmed that by saying, well, tell me the names of those things. If you are truthful, so not only he accused them they do not know, he accused them to be a bunch of liars. Oh, my word. You don't, you don't understand his verse. You don't understand his verse. My friend, you, you are the genius. You are the one who said they were worried and they were guessing. Yeah. Okay, but their guess come to be true. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and, but Allah, that means Allah is wrong because Allah got upset from them for the accusing Adam that he would do mischief. Man. Allah is question said, who are you to say he's do, they can do this and that? Okay, who, who are you? so when Allah, he said to them, who are you? Was Allah angry from them? He's question, he's, uh, he's, you know, 
reply to him say in the day that you know that you have no right to say you know what's wrong and right okay I, so I know when, when allah he said to them you have no right that's mean the, the the angels they violated their right limit correct yeah but you can yeah see how silly what you just said you just said that the angels commit sin and they broke the command of allah to be totally obedient they just question him yeah you just said allah is telling him it's not your, it's not your right it's not your right so they did not they 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 over they over their right and they passed their limit and if you pass your limit with god you go to hell no you don't go to hell look like where they will where, where will they go where they will go eh? where they will go who the angels yeah the angels where they will go in the end of the time anywhere the angels don't, don't go to heaven and don't go to hell well isn't it your god allah will slaughter the angel his name is death no, the jinns and humans are going to be in heaven and hell. I'm asking you, is it true that Allah will slaughter the angel? His name is death. Uh, that is not a sahih hadith. Who decided that this is not sahih? That's not see, sahih. Who said that? Sheikh of mine. Sheikh I, I question the sheikh. The top which, sheikh. Which, which sheikh? Which sheikh? I'm not mentioning his name. I'm not mentioning his name. I'm not mentioning his name. But you know who the sheikh is, but I'm not mentioning his name. But he told me that that hadith is fake. It's not even real. That the angel uh, of death. Uh, it is not real. Uh, okay. But the genes, the genes and humans are being hell. And simple. There's no angels being hell. The gene and the human in hell. Yeah. You Let and me... your people. I'm going to be in hell. Let us see who is going to be in hell. Well, the Quran says a Christian, they will go to heaven. Oh, are you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> you want to show you? You want to show you? Read chapter 5, verse 72 to 75. And let's see who's, who's going to go to hell. Okay. I will go to the verse you choose for me. But are you are you sure you will not be sorry for choosing it? Chapter 5, verse 72 to 75. Okay. But are you sure that you will not be, you will not be sorry for choosing this uh, chapter? Uh, no. Okay. So chapter 5, verse number what? 72 to 75. Okay. You will, are you sure you will not be sorry again? I repeat. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Let us go to 72. Here we go. All right. Read the verse for us. Wait, wait, wait. The screen ready. Come on, read it. Hello? Yeah, read it, read it. I mean, you know that. Don't you know the Quran by heart? Yes. Uh, okay. They surely do believe who say, Lord, Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary, the Messiah, children of of Israel, worship Allah, okay. my Lord, and your Lord. Okay. Lord, who, who describes partners unto Allah for had forbidden paradise, He his abode is a fire, do those Oh, your translation is crap. Those, there will be no helpers. Okay, what translation you like me to change for? What translation you like? All right, all right. Huh? No, no, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. You can leave it for you. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so look what happened now. I asked you three times. You will not be sorry for choosing this verse. You said no, and you laugh. Look what happened now. It says, surely disbelieve those who say. Allah is the Messiah. So if the, if the Christian they say Allah is the Messiah, how it says here those who take partner with him? If they say that Allah is the Messiah, that's mean they are not taking partners. That's mean he is the, he is God Himself. He is Allah. You see, taking you uh, hold on taking partner is saying the Messiah and Allah they are God. But if they say that the Messiah is Allah, that is a stupid statement to say they are taking partner because they are not saying there's additional person. They are saying he is the same person. No, he says they surely disbelieve who say. I know Allah when they say it, focus with me, focus afar, you know, eat hummus. Listen, surely disbelieve those who say Allah is the Messiah. They don't say Allah and the Messiah. They say Allah is the Messiah. So how that is taking partner if they are saying that Allah is the Messiah himself? Did they saying that Jesus, that they saying that Jesus, that you Christians are, are, are calling Jesus Allah? 
Exactly, but that means he is not a partner. He is replacing the God. This is not partner. Partner is taking Allah and somebody else with him. Like the Muslim, they do. The Muslim, they have shahada. They associate the name of Muhammad with the name of Allah. We Christian, according to the Quran here, we say that the Messiah, he is Allah himself. So how that is taking partner? So this is a stupid statement in the Quran. And I ask you, I warn you, that is a stupid. Secondly, if the Christian, they believe that the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person, who is the third person in the Trinity? The third person is the, obviously the Holy Spirit. Are you crazy or what? What's that? Are you crazy or what? What do you mean? Isn't it the Quran says that the Christian, they worship Jesus and his mother? No, no, no. That's chapter 5, verse 116. Huh? That's chapter 5, verse 116. And? Does it the Quran says that the Christian, they worship Jesus and his mother? That verse says, Allah says to Jesus that, Did I tell you, uh, did you tell the people to worship you and Ari? Exactly. So how do you say to me the Holy Spirit? So in the Quran, no. in the Quran, there's no Holy Spirit. So look what happened now. In the Quran, there's no, nowhere, in the Quran, there's what? nowhere as, as, as afar. Your knowledge is equal to zero to me in front of me. You, you, you know that. You know, you know your limit. And I'm asking you, can you show me a verse in the Quran? It says that the Christian believe that the Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity. Obviously not, but he's saying that. Don't Obviously say, not. Don't okay, let us continue now. Obviously not. So thank you. So the Quran mentioned a Trinity, which is Jesus, Mary, and Allah. No, not Mary. No, 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 not Mary. Not Mary. You are the one who says to me, go to chapter 5, verse what? what, 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 what five, 106, you said? I, I said chapter 5, verse 106 is, you know, uh, is, you know, a different story compared to this. Well, then, then a different story. Okay, read the story. It says, did you say to your people to worship me and my mother? Yeah. Because okay. Catholic so worshiper, Catholics. Worshipper, that's a lie. What? There's no Catholic worship, Mary. That's a lie. Oh, that's a lie. Worshiper. That's a lie. You can open right now the any website of the Catholic, and you will see the Trinity is the Trinity for all the churches Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and there's no Mary. I'm not saying that is part of Trinity. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that they worship. No, they don't worship Mary. This is a lie. They ask Mary, they ask Mary to pray for them. They don't pray to Mary, they pray to an idol. They pray to idol this every is, day. They, you see, you are being now, you are trying to change the topic. So, I'm not. You, you must tell you pray to idols, you front in idols, you pour down to idols, and you kiss idols, and you believe idols will save you. But no no Catholic believe that Mary is an idol, and no Catholic believe that they an idol will save his sin, and no Catholic believe that Mary will take him to heaven. Catholic believe that God will take them to they, heaven, they Jesus they will forgive them. They they focus with me. So, you kiss a black stone, and you are trying to change the topic. I'm asking you. In the Quran, when yeah. uh, 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 when the Quran says, uh, did you ask your people to say to worship me and my mother? Yeah. Okay, did Allah make a mistake? No. no. Okay, so what is the Trinity? The Trinity is in a chapter, it's chapter 4, verse 171. So, chapter what? Chapter 4, verse 171. 171? But Chapter 4, verse 171, I'm sure. Chapter 5. No. 4, 4, 4. Chapter 4, verse 171. That's okay. complete. That All means, right. Chapter 4, guys. Chapter 4, verse 171. It says the that's about the Trinity, right? But why have you moved on from chapter no, 5? No, we are not. We are not. We are just, you know, you are the one who moved me here. Okay. Just to show you. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, one, uh, uh. Chapter, chapter 4, 171. You asked me a question. Where did you say that? Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we want to see. You see, we are here to, to, to learn from you. Okay, no. here we go. Where in the Quran it says that the Trinity is not Mary? Read carefully. This is Mary. This is the, not Mary. The one, okay, you are the one who says to me that this is the verse you want to read. Read it. It says that don't say three. And he mentioned the name of Mary in the verse. He did, he, did, he did not say three in, a, he, uh, he did not mention Mary in chapter four, verse 171. Okay, but okay, but in different verse, does he say that, did you say to me and my people to worship me and my mother? That's a complete 
different story. Okay. Like so what is the verse in the Quran? Tell us the trinity of the Christians. The chapter 4, verse 171. Where is the trinity there? It says about Jesus only. Allah is saying, don't say trinity. Exactly. I'm saying, what is the trinity? Where in the Quran we can learn what the trinity? Well, Allah knows what you're doing. Allah knows exactly what you are doing. He knows we, just saw, like, we just saw that the angels, they knew and Allah do not know. So what do you mean Allah he knew? Allah knows any, anything. No, he do not. Because the angels, they said, are you going to create somebody who will do mischief? And he said to them, I know what you know not. And then we find out that the angels, they were right and Allah is wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Never wrong. But, but the did, okay, did Adam commit mis did, did Adam did misshapement? Huh? Yes. Adam, okay, so that means they are right. You are the one who said to me they were guessing, and they were right. But Allah does not say to him that you are wrong. What he's saying, he does. No, he not only he said to them you are wrong. He said to them you are liars, because he said to them in kuntum sadiqin. What sadiqin mean? I don't know. I don't know Arabic to be honest. Sadiqin mean truthful. Don't you know Abu Bakr al-Siddiq? Siddiq, Siddiq, okay. So he is the one who believes. So if you are truthful, so if you are truthful, tell me the, tell me those names. So they are not truthful. They, they were able to tell the names? No. No, so they aren't truthful. So when you're God, Allah, he made a challenge, saying if you are truthful, tell me the names, and then they could not tell the names. Did Allah make a wrong challenge to prove nothing? Or he proved something? No, he was... Tell angels, he made it clear to who who are you to say to me that I'm doing right and wrong. Simple. So you, again, you are repeating what you said to me. Who are you to say to me what is right, what's wrong? So the angels, they accuse Allah of doing wrong. They're not accusing, they question him. It is they're you who said to me a second ago, he is saying to them, it's not up to you to tell me what is right, what's wrong. So this is what they said. They are telling him what's right, what's wrong. They were saying to him that they were getting worried. That why you know, you know, you, you know, said to me a second ago, he is saying to them, It's not up to you to say to me what's right, what's wrong. You forgot, yeah, I know that. Okay, so the angels, according to you, they told Allah this is wrong and this is right. So the angels is giving command to Allah, they're not gonna command, they're just getting worried. CP man, they, they, say that they are questioning, they are questioning how wise his decision. You just said to me, they are. He said to them, "It's not up to you to tell me what's right, what's wrong, right?" Yeah. That's mean they are questioning his decision. They are questioning how smart he is. They are questioning how wise he is. So the angels in Islam they accuse Allah from the beginning that he's stupid, and he is. No, he was stupid. He didn't. Well, uh, he didn't right okay, let us talk. About, let us talk about stupid. Are you smart? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, a human being he have testicles. Do you have ones? <laughs> oh, don't talk about prior parts all the time. Why not? I mean, your God, Allah, keep talking about them. So I'm asking you, if you are smart, how come you have a God? He says that the sperm coming from the backbone. That's been answered on YouTube many times by these. Answer me again. Guys, it's answered many times. Answer me. Here we go. Aren't you the I'm one right. who, who is desperate in the chat? You want to talk to me and Christian Prince is running away from you. Here we go. We have time. Go ahead. Tell me what kind of God he think that testicles are decoration like in the, you know, in the tree. And he don't know that the, the, the sperm is coming from there. So according to your knowledge, do sperm coming from the backbone or it's coming from your nose? Topic, time of the time. We were talking about hell. We were talking about hell. Who well, those, to hell? those who believe in such a stupid thing, obviously they are following a stupid God. They will end in hell and you will end in hell, my friend. Chapter 5 verse 72, we said Christians are going to hell. Simple. Okay, Simple. Ho okay, hold on. Christians will go to hell because they say that the Messiah is Allah, correct? Yes. But there's no Christian the, say that. The Arabs, the Arabs call... Uh, no, it doesn't say, hold on, you see, you're just being a Abdul again. You said the Christian, they say, you do not say the Arab. Now you're trying to fix it. I am an Arab. And we Christian Arab, we don't say that the Messiah is Allah. Actually, we don't believe in Allah anyway. And we do not even, even in the Trinity, we do not believe that the Messiah is the Father. The Trinity is not believing that the Messiah is the Father. The Father is a person, the Messiah is a person, the Holy Spirit is a person. So how the stupid Allah, he says, the Christian, they say that the Messiah is Allah, if we don't believe in such a thing. Because you, you, because you believe that these one, two, and three are one. You, you believe that they are... Doesn't matter, we don't believe he is the same person. 
What do you mean you don't believe the same person? We don't. The Christian, they don't believe that Jesus is the Father. He's not the Father. That's why the Father is the Father and Jesus is the Son. But you say they're all one. See, doesn't people, matter, all... but this is not what we believe. We don't believe that Jesus is the Father. So even the Quran is a stupid again because no single Christian say that the Messiah is Allah. We don't believe in Allah, number one. Secondly, we don't believe that the Messiah is the Father. And that is a stupid statement. So again, we go. You will go to hell and you're trying to avoid the question, what kind of God he claimed to be God? He says that you as a sperm, as a semen, when you were in, 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 in the backbone of your father, you know? Topic, man, come on. Don't you... We are, we, what we will say, you agreed already with my first topic that Allah is a stupid because you told me. He said to them, it's not up to you to say what's right, what's wrong. So they are accusing Allah to be wrong. And that's it. We, we got the goal. Goal. So you agreed that the angels were giving details to Allah not to do, what to do, what not to do. And Allah was saying to them, it's not up to you. See, people got more important things to talk about than hell. We got hell. Yeah, okay, let us, let us talk about hell. Is it true that Allah will insert in your anus a chain? Oh my word, look at this. What? The main important topic is uh, who is going to hell? The Muslim or the okay, who is going to, to go to hell? All Muslims, the Quran says, Do you know what does that mean? Huh? Huh? You are a Muslim, right? Yeah. So you Muslim, when you go around like rich people, you speak like trying to please speak Arabic to, to fool them, to make them, to make you sound like Arab. This Alhamdulillah, mashallah. But the second we read for you something from the Quran, you have no idea what I'm saying. Is it the Quran says, وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا Speak, well, 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 I don't know, Arabic, obviously, I don't know, Arabic. Uh, okay, so what do you say, mashallah, in Arabic? These are small, these are small words. Ah, small okay, words. small. Like, let's go to the small one then. When the Quran says, not a single of you, but he, single one of you speaking to all Muslims, but he will enter hell. Was Allah making a mistake? No. What the translation that means, the uh, country that means, uh, everyone, every Muslim is in a walk above hell. Well, this, above this, is the, this is a lie. I can show you the Islamic. Do you, do you know Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet? Yeah. Okay. Is he, is he stupid? No, so can we take his opinion? Well, my opinions are the... Who are Quran. you to say my opinion? Are you like Ibn Abbas now? Allah is saying the Muslims... Under, can we under take Ibn Abbas' opinion or we cannot take Ibn Abbas' opinion? No, take him out and go to chapter 9. Why, verse... you, don't want, why you don't want to take him out? Yeah, because the Quran, Allah says that we are going to be in heaven. Chapter 9. Read for me. Read for me. Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Read for me. It says, not one of you, but he will enter hell. Read it. Read it. All of you Muslims are going to hell. Muhammad, he knew it. Well, see, uh, was this a hadith? What hadith? This is interpretation of the Quran, Ibn Abbas. It says, and if you're in front of the Yerul Miqbas, Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Approach not a single one to the exclusion of the Prophet's message, save that he will enter hell. There is not one of you, but shall approach it. Mm. So all of you will enter hell except the Prophet. Good for me, Arabian Prophet. My name is Arabian Prophet, so I will not go there. But you will go there. Your parents will go there. Your family will go there. All the, you, all the Muslims will go there. And the Quran confirm it. No, according to chapter 9, verse 72. My friend, you are quoting for me a contradiction because the Quran is a stupid book. So in one verse it says you will go to heaven and now not even one of you, but he will enter hell. It is, Many. it's a destiny. It says it's a destiny. Hukman Maqdiya. It is a destiny. It's no. a decree. It's a decree. Do you see? It says a decree, a decree the must necessarily saying. take a place. Read, read, read. Do you know how to read English? You do not know yeah. Arabic. So do you know English? It says it's a decree that must necessarily take a place. Do you see it? That's Abbas. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about what the Prophet said. Prophet and Allah says. Well, this is what Allah said too. This is this is the Quran. The Quran saying that. Chapter nine, verse seventy-two. 
The Quran saying, the Quran saying, it is a destiny, it is a destiny, it is a destiny, not a single one of you, but he will enter hell. Allah has promised the believing men and women, gardens and if which rivers flow, okay. which, which they will find eternally. Chapter 9, verse 72. Okay, let me, sh let me show you this. <clears throat> verse 72. Okay, heaven. I want you to read this for me. If you pray to Allah, if you fast, if you kill some Christian and some Jews, are you going to go to heaven? If you what? Fast. If you be a good Muslim, like you start raping, killing, stealing, you know, being a Muslim, are you going to go to heaven? Guaranteed. And you go to heaven for that, raping. And yeah, because you Muslim, you've been ordered to go and attack the Christian, the Jews, get the blonde girls. You know, isn't it the Muhammad, he told you, go and attack the, the Romans so you can get the blondie girls? So now listen, the, the hadith in front of you is, is, is a da'if. It says here that a person, Muhammad is swear by Allah, saying, I swear by Allah that a person of you, he will do the act of people of paradise. And he keep doing that until there is a distance of two cubits between him and paradise, and two arms, sorry. And then, or two cubits, yeah. Uh, and, and then before he enter paradise, Allah, what he, Allah he wrote for him, will take place and he will start acting like people of hell and he go to hell. And the opposite, and he says, I swear by Allah, that one of you will do act the people of hell until there's two arms between him and hell. And then what Allah wrote for him will take a place and he will enter heaven. So in Islam, there is no deed and being Muslim, not Muslim. It's what Allah wrote for you before he created you. Is that correct? I did, I did not say to you that everyone is going to heaven. I this is not the question. That. Focus, me, Zafar. Focus, focus. A Muslim, he cannot focus. He's a Muslim. You know, come on. Listen. He said, you will do the deeds of paradise every day in your life until you are almost in the door. And then what Allah, he wrote for you, will make you go to hell. Read it. And then he said, the other person, he will do the deeds of hell every day in his life until there is a distance of two meters between you and the, and the gate of hell and then what allah wrote for you will overcome and he will start acting like people of paradise and he go to paradise so in islam it's not what you do it says your fate is that true <sighs> my word is, is it what was this hadith yeah this is the hadith Daif or Sahih? Daif, like you. Why you, why you reading me a Daif hadith? I I like I like Daif. What's wrong with Daif? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I, I, the reason I'm talking to you because you are Daif. Because our Prophet said in Sahih Bukhari that whoever believes in Jesus and okay. Muhammad. Okay. So are you said, saying now you believe in Al Bukhari? You accept Al Bukhari? Bukhari, let me let me give you a. Hadith, yeah? No, do you believe? Do you accept Al Bukhari? I thought Bukhari is a weak Hadith book. The, the Bukhari is the highest of Hadiths. Is the highest? Are you, are you are you sure? Let me quote you a Hadith. Then. Well, I am quoting you from Al Bukhari, Abdul. This is Al Bukhari in front of you. I was just making, uh, you know, playing with you. This is Al Bukhari, and now you said this is the highest, so you cannot deny it now. Al Bukhari, Hadith number six five nine four. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. No, let me see. My soul is breathed into him and the last person will you. By the way, people like to see you in the camera. You, they said they are very handsome. I don't know. I'm on the camera. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the camera. Uh, your understand? camera was on for the last two hours. Was it? Yeah, I, mean, I will show you in the bathroom, bathroom too. Well, you should have bloody cut my screen off, CP man. You, you, how I know that you know it's you who turned the camera on? It's not my business. Where is the bloody camera on this? I don't know where the bloody camera. It's your phone. It's not me who could uh, touch your phone. You do not know why you're touching. This is why you not good. This is why you should not give a phone to a Muslim. You don't know what he's doing. No, I got I got a new phone today. You see, we are the we are the Christians. You know, we are the one who make things. Muslim, they use them and they miss it around. Anyway, next you, time before you, you call me, say Inshallah. Now focus with me, Al Bukhari. You said the Bukhari is the highest, and this is the Bukhari saying that you will go to hell. There's no guarantee you will go to heaven. It says it's what Allah he wrote for you before he created you. Yeah, he has. Yeah? 
Okay, so the, all Islam is a fiction because it's not you praying or not praying. It's just not you doing jihad. All the lies he Muhammad he promised you if you do jihad, if you do pray, if you practice this, practice that. It was a joke. At the end of the day, it is your fate. It's not what you do. No, it's not. It's in front of you. Read it. And by your, by the way, by the way, your camera is on again. Where the heck is my this phone here? I've just bought this phone. Sit there. on it, as uh, far. Sit on it this way. We see, we will see your ass. We don't see your face. <laughs> Read the hadith in front of you. It's in the front of you saying that it's what Allah he decide. It's what Allah he decree. It's not up to you. The guy he is almost there, and then what Allah wrote for him will take over. He's he's up to Allah. It's up to him. Who's going to Which up to him? We know that's up to him, but he, it says here that what Allah wrote for you before he created you is going yeah. to decide where you will go. It's not what you do. You see the guy here. Look, look, this is a guy like you. He grew a beard. By the way, I like your beard. You know, your beard remind, remind me of my, I used to have a cat, like, you know, look like it. So look at this. The guy is doing the deed of paradise until he is almost there. And then what Allah wrote for him will take a place, will overcome, and will take him to hell. So it's not up to you what you decide, you are a believer or not. It's, I might go to heaven, you might go to hell. This is what the, this is what the hadith is saying, and you are, you are the one who said, you accept Al-Bukhari to be the highest, and this is Sahih Al-Bukhari. Let me answer that. Oh, you go ahead. Allah has written, Allah has written everybody's decree, but he knows what they will do. That's an evil leader. This is not hell. true. Read carefully. It says that the person of you will do the deeds of heaven. Read carefully. Abdul, read, read slow. Let us read together slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. It says here uh, Muhammad is swearing. He said, By Allah, by Allah, read carefully. A person among you, or a man, or you know, mankind may do the deeds of people of the fire till there is only a cupid or an arm breathe distance between him and fire this guy is uh, doing nothing about islam he don't care about islam at all he's almost there and then then read carefully then that is written that is written which allah ordered the angels to write this is the fate proceed and he does the deeds of people of paradise and he enter it do you see it? Pretty, and he does the deeds of the people of paradise and enters it. And, and a man may do the deeds of the people of paradise till there is only a cubit of. Can you put the screen up? Cubit of. Yeah. Hmm. So this person, he was a bad person all his life, doing nothing right. And then the fate which is written, not his decision. The fate which Allah he wrote for him will take over, proceed, and then he go to heaven. And then the opposite, a man who do the deeds of paradise all his life. And there is only a cupid or two between him and the paradise is almost there. Then that yeah. is written, proceed, and he does the deeds of people of fire, and he enter it. So in Islam, it's not up to you. It's not you pray or no. you don't pray. But that that answer for, for for that is the answer for that is yeah that this person has been doing all good all all his life but right at the end he does something stupid exactly but who is the one who made him switch to the stupid Allah it says what is written oh. by Allah it says there it says what is written by Allah you misquoting this verse man Abdul this. it says it says and then what is written by Allah proceed correct yeah. okay the written by Allah is his decision or decision of Allah. Let me read it. This is him on the slide, but then. Did you see why I blocked you before? <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me read properly, but then that. What do you mean? You did read it already three, four times. I mean, how slow are you? You see, I think your phone is not good. Where do you get your phone from? Is it a stolen phone? No. Because the Muslims, they have a stolen Around. phone market in London, you know? You go to the Muslims area, you yes. will find a stolen phone, stolen uh, bicycles. I mean, everything stolen is there. Stolen credit card, watches, you name it. Muslims are good believers. Mm, true. 
<laughs> yeah, they're bloody Christian countries, aren't they? Obviously. You are, you are the one who stated it, and you are the one who said it, and then you claim that you are following God, his name is Allah, and you are decent, and you grow a beard. But then the writings which Allah has ordered the angels to write proceeds, and he does the deeds of the people of paradise and enters it. And, and Mamin. What Mamin, man? You remind me the guy, the Mamma Muhammad, the guy, the guy taking Shahada. Is that how you read English? Let me, let me teach you how to read English in Arabic way. A man may do the deeds of people of paradise. So he is killing Christians, stealing, taking watches from people, taking credit cards, selling them in the market in 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 in, in uh, 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 like close to Birmingham, you know, a square, like you go around, doing everything uh, you know uh, uh, right according to Islam. And then what Allah wrote for him will take over, and he will start being good Christian, good believer, good nice person. He love his enemy. He don't kill, he don't hate, and then uh, uh, this is because Allah, he made him switch, and Allah, he wrote for him that he would be Christian, so he go to hell. CP, you got it wrong. The writings are from the angels. They are writing for what he's going to do. Yeah, what he will do. The angels, they wrote for him a destiny. Don't you Muslim believe in Al-Qadr? Angels, uh, angels are on our sh shoulders. Listen, writing listen, listen. Okay, the angels in your sh shoulders, the angel writing that in your shoulders or in your... Huh? In your... <clears throat> because, as I know, the prophet said, it's written in every woman's vagina, the name of the one who will F her. So based on this, your destiny is written in your penis, if you are a male, and written in her vagina, if you are a female. Come on, don't talk dirty. I'm not talking, talking dirty, I'm quoting your prophet. مكتوب على كل فرج اسم ناكحه. It is written in the name. The name of everyone will f a woman uh, uh, in a vagina. The name of the one who will f her. Do you want me to show you the reference? No, forget that. That's Why no? Point. So you are saying to me, you know, don't speak dirty. So your prophet speaking dirty, and then you accuse me speaking dirty. Like your Mimi Hijab, he says to me, uh, how you say it's, you know you're a sexual predator because I was quoting for your sister who was accusing Jesus to do sexual things with his mother. The filthy Mimi Hijab saying to me, he is asking her to suck her boobs. Everybody knows what we are debating, like you now. And we are uh, listen, listen. Maktubun ala kulli farjin So did your prophet say that, or I'm making things up? Yeah, but you know how easy. Okay. We're, we're so what about Allah he wrote, you see, because this is in the connection with this. If a woman she committed adultery or fornication, Allah he wrote over her vagina the names of the men who is going to f her it's a destiny so when a woman she called the sheikh and i can show you the video in youtube she called him she's asking well uh, she is over 30 now and she is worried that she will not get married in the middle east 30 is so old he said to her my daughter don't worry the prophet says is written over every vagina the name of the men who will f it so if it's written for you you will f you will be f you will be f nobody can change that so this is what you must then believe. You believe in destiny. You don't believe in choices. No, we believe in choices. No, you don't. We do. You have free will to do good and wrong. At the end of the day, it's our, it's our own. It's our own choice. Okay, how you have own choice and then hadith in the front of us says what is written by Allah. You are doing the deed of paradise and you are almost there. And then what is written by Allah will take over. No, but what he's saying uh, written is what's been written for you that you are going to do this. No. Exactly. No, you, you have to do. It's a degree. Okay, let me show you. Maybe maybe you are, you know, maybe your limit is because of the translation, because you are not, uh, you are using a new smartphone. Listen, listen. listen. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Here we go. I will show you a different translation so you can understand better. Okay, listen carefully. Here we go. Okay, then we will see it says here. Uh, okay. Ah, read carefully. That will make it even better. Read with me. It says here that what is destiny will take over. Then, when suddenly the written of destiny overcome him, overcome him, overcome his will, and began to act like the people of hell, and he entered hell. So the destiny is not your choice. Do you write your destiny, or Allah write your destiny? Until, until there remains between him and heaven a distance of Cupid and writing and of that the writings of destiny overcome him and then he begins to act like the people of paradise and
Why you don't Hello? call me? Why you don't call Muhammad Hijab to join us so we can laugh more? There's no about laughing more. Well, we will uh, call, I will see. Call Muhammad Hijab. I challenge you. Call him right now. Let him join us. This coward who run away. And let us see all those potatoes in in uh, in uh, in UK. All of them called him right now. I am the only Christian here, and all of you with the beard. And let everybody laugh. Let us see who, how, what they can do. Open, open talk. The same way we are doing. Call them. Let us see. They don't talk to you, but you bloody speak. They don't dare to talk to me. Don't, this is excuse. They don't dare. They, they are afraid what will happen. Like what happened to you now? Look what happened to you. So I'm asking you, I'm giving you a chance. Do you like to call them to seek help? I'm here. Are they, men, are they men enough to join us in a conversation? Call them. But that's up to them, out of their contact details. Why you don't call them? Call them to join us. I'm not asking you to call them to have a dinner now. We want to see, as you see, this is embarrassment. You cannot answer. They cannot debate. They keep running away. And they are potatoes. So who is of you who have a knowledge? Who is the Muslim have a knowledge? None of you have a knowledge in Islam. We are the Christians. Even the Quran says that to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what we reveal to you, go to Christian prince. The Quran says that. This writing of destiny is the person's own fault. It's his own fault. How is your fault it? if it's a destiny? How it is fault if it's a destiny? His own destiny. How, it's a, how it's a destiny written by Allah before he was created and this is his fault now. No, because Allah's already written what this person is gonna do. Simple. Yeah, it so says here. No, it says here. Yeah, what he will do, but it's going to overcome. He wrote for him. He decided for him. Oh, <laughs> oh my word! You don't know. Your camera is open again. I saw you jumping like crazy. What's happening to you? Acting no, like a monkey now. I'm, 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 I'm sitting down, down. I'm sitting down. I'm not, I'm, I'm not jumping anywhere. No, you are moving like a, like a, like a lizard. No, I'm not. I like it when you shake head. You like your lizard. What happened to you? By the way, what kind of god do you think the lizard is the enemy of God? Lizard. Yeah. What kind of god do you think the lizard is an enemy of God? <laughs> your god could lizard. Not, your god could not find a bigger bigger enemy. What lizard you know about? Lizard, lizard, you know what lizard? Because yeah, I, I see you, you're shaking, you're shaking like one. So that's why you remind me of him, Mr. Lizard. That we, you know, he's a, he's a friend of mine, actually. He, he eat the mosquitoes uh, around in my yard. So look what happened. You have a God who's so great. He wrote your destiny and he wrote the destiny of the lizard. And now the lizard become his enemy. And now he's ordering you to kill the lizard. And what kind of religion? The religion, uh, Allah, he waves jihad against the lizard. I mean, he could not find even something bigger. His main enemy is Shaitan. The Shaitan's no, main enemy. No, his main enemy. his main uh, his main enemy is lizard. No, it's not. It's the Shaitan. Okay, the, let Iblis. us see. Let us see. Here we go. Uh, Iblis. Okay, here we go. Your prophet even he gave a special reward to the one who killed the lizard from the first shot. Yeah. Why? Why you want to kill the lizard? Well, that was. A Listen, if uh, you had a lizard in your house, uh -huh. what, what do you do? I will come him do? because he will eat the uh, mosquitoes, he will eat the insect, he will never harm me. Lizard are very... Never keep a lizard in your house. You would never keep a li li lizard. Li lizard, they are very useful animals. They are not bad. Have you ever heard of somebody yeah. die because of a lizard in the Middle East? Nobody will keep a lizard in, in their own house. Okay, never. read, read um, the hadith. Read, read the hadith. Go ahead. Go ahead. Says Liz and Cheesy from Clarified Material. Hello? Hello, hi, how are you? Are you from Pakistan? Yes, 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 one. Quiet, that's why. Yeah, from the Clarified but I'm very quiet because I'm eating carrot. Go ahead. He, but he left the lizard. It was eaten of the food. No, 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 you are reading, you know, it's uh, your internet. You know, are you saying the internet from the neighbors as usual? The Muslim do in the end. In the Listen, whoever kills house lizard with one blow, which will have uh, will have such and such reward. Why Allah yeah. make a special reward for killing a lizard from the first hit? I don't know. 
What so do you mean you don't know? You are the Muslim who excited to call me. And you don't, each time I ask you a question, you say, no, is that the only answer you have? Is it right to switch? Mm -hmm. So what kind of God, his enemy, is Mr. Lizard? Is that a cartoon? He's not, he's not enemy. No, he's his enemy. He just don't like him. He just doesn't okay, like give him. me the reason. If you kill him from the first hit, you have a, the top reward. If you kill him from the second hit, you have a second reward, less reward. If you kill him from the third hit, you have the lowest reward. Why? Give me the reason. Must be a reason that we don't know is, is, is the work of the un, unseen, you know, so unseen that he that he knows why. What do you mean you don't know? Like, don't... Okay, okay. So what is the problem between Allah and Mr. Lizard? Maybe we can fix the problem. What is the problem it's between same, Allah and the lizard? It's same as a, it's same as a swine, pig. Allah, okay, but, Allah, li but lizard is not a swine, swine, and your prophet and the Muslim they used to eat him. Who? The Muslim they eat lizard. But that was in history. It's not now. No, is you it? eat it now. You eat it now. You go to the Middle East. You will see them. You know, you go just type now cooking dub in Saudi Arabia. Dub. We never they know. No. Listen, yeah, Abdul. I'm asking you. Don't change the topic. I don't care about your kitchen now. Why Allah want to kill the lizard? What the problem? We don't know. I know. I, know. I know what you know not. You see, I, you, 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 you Muslims are not Muslims. You are fake. According to your prophet, that lizard, he tried to put fire on Abraham. Is that true? To be honest, I don't, I don't, I don't have a clue about that. What do you mean to be honest? Are you saying to me all that time you were not honest and now you decide to be honest? No, I'm, I'm saying that. Okay. Abraham, so I'm asking you, is it true that according to your prophet, that Mr. Lizard, he was the only creature who tried to burn Abraham? If that is true, then okay. It's okay. So don't tell me now that Allah is not the enemy of the lizard. So the lizard is the enemy of Allah. Yeah. Okay. So now, how, how lizard can burn Abraham? Explain to us. Let us find the hadith. Huh? How how can lizard uh, burn Abraham? <laughs> yeah. Why? Have you got the hadith here? I'm asking you why. Why? Why he? Uh... Yeah. Why did Isa try to kill him? Yeah. I don't have a clue. Okay, so is the story about him trying to burn Abraham? Is it a true story? To be honest, all I all I know that his uh, father and his people were trying to kill him, burn him, but I don't know about the lizard part. Okay. You never heard about, about this lizard trying to kill Abraham before? To be honest, no, no. To be honest. Do you know anyone? Being, do you know anyone from Pakistan? He was killed by a lizard. He was blowing air on him, like to make fire on him. Do you see anybody? Remember anybody? No. You know? No. You do not know. You know what? I am a real witness. When once I was in the Middle East, there was a guy. He had a fire in his car, and then there is a bunch of lizard. They they were driving Porsche. They stop in the side of the highway. And they opened the door and they start blowing wind from their mouth. <laughs> and they were burning the yeah. guy car. What do you think about my story? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> I don't know? You, know? you are a Muslim. You know everything. The Muslim, they know everything. Neither small issues, CP. We got more important issues well, here. Well, but well, if either your prophet is saying the truth or he is a fraud this is small or big doesn't matter a small a small lie is the same as a big lie so is it true that the lizard mr lizard salamander he is blowing wind at your prophet abraham yeah yeah how a lizard can do that well i don't, I don't have a clue how big is the mouth of the lizard and what kind of wind he will pose What's the hadith or not? Yeah, this is a hadith. This is the Eif hadith. It's not there. Uh, mm. Kill, blow, mm. miktas, spy, 
All right, uh, killed by a blow mm. to be killed, saying that. Oh, you are reading now from the screen. Let me just stop there. Okay. Speak of Abraham being put in fire in the tradition. Mm. Seeing the, the geckos. The gecko. Yeah, they, they change. It's something the same. That's why if you are of an insurance from Geico company, you should not do that. Abraham, so is this a story like, is true or this is a fabrication from your prophet when I said that to you you start laughing but now you are taking it seriously because your prophet says that see how Muslim they are hypocrite you know it's funny when you tell them a story they couldn't know about it the second you say the prophet said they believe it that's it they don't dare to say it's not stupid seeing the gecko on Abraham when the fire in this tradition is he said that the gecko mm. gecko blew on the fire to stir it. He just says that that, that that it blew on the fire that was already already up. The, the, the fire was already up. Yeah, who is body. who is the lizard? Why he is doing that? So this so this lizard is there allowing it. Okay, it, it. okay. I said to you, I said to you, who is the enemy of Allah? The lizard. You said no, shaitan. So when the lizard is doing that, is he yeah. the enemy of Allah? Well, he did an evil act. He, he, he did an evil act. Simple. Okay. Is he the enemy of Allah when he was doing that? Enemy of Allah? No, he's the enemy of Abraham. Okay. I want to ask you, is pigs are good? Huh? Is pigs are good? Pigs are good. Uh, they are innocent animals, but they are un unclean. Unclean. So which one is better, the lizard or the pig? To be honest, according according to this hadith, yeah, they're both they're both the same. Both are the same. Okay, according to your prophet, all the animals in the world, they we are trying to stop the fire on Abraham, except the lizard. He was blowing wind. So according to your prophet, dogs, cats, cockroaches, fly, mosquitoes. Everybody was busy, the same as we see in the cartoon in the jungle. Everybody was trying to put the fire down, except Mr. Lizard. Do you agree with this story? Uh, the... Your camera is on, by the way. This phone is bloody wrecked. Do you want to give it to me for free? I will give you my old phone, because my old phone does not have camera at all. Yeah? My old phone does not have camera. You know, I burn all anything have camera will burn. The yeah. second you open the camera on me, the, the the camera will be burned. So if you want, we can switch. Did you steal it, or this is, this is something you bought yourself? Did you store it from somebody from a rich guy? Oh, I got it. I got it new. So just give yeah, me your matter, brand address. New story. Okay, no problem. So now, when when all the story the story in front of you is Allah is telling true story or this is a fiction stupid story. If the hadith is sahih, then cool is yes, real. This is not the question. Now. Is this story is true story? Is it you believe that all animals really they are trying to stop the fire of why animals? Why why a mice and donkey and horse and camel and cats and rats? All of them they are trying to stop the fire in Abraham. Tell us why. What is their interest? What their interest is that a cartoon or this is a true story? Told as a killer, I forbade the snake with a short hill snatch of it as two lines and the same cause. It's kind of but the main thing is, yeah, Allah made a fire cool. The main what? part of it all. What? Allah said to the fire. To be cool and and this is and another question. Was... I'm not asking you. Your God is a saint. A silly God. He says stupid things. Be cool. Like what the heck? So now, if if Allah is saying to the fire, be cool. Why is making all the animals come to stop the fire? I mean, this is stupid. If the fire is not fire anyway, so why is asking the mosquitoes and the cats and the rats and the dogs to come and put more water in the fire? If it's not a fire no more. I like it when Muslims laugh at Allah. I'm the only one who make Muslims laugh at their God. This is true. 
It's not, it's not, it's not Afid. And You're loving and everybody the heard you, and then the camera is on again. Oh, the camera's on. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. To be honest, yeah, I'm going to be truthful with you, yeah. I'm going to be truthful with you. And I knew about his story. I knew about his story, but everything about it, apart from all the animals that tried to blow it. That's the, the, that's the part My friend, I didn't know. If you just say that Allah, he says, uh, to the fire cool, and the fire is cool. So why is ordering? Like, do you think those uh, uh, those animals in the jungle, like they start volunteer, like, hey, Allahu Akbar, they are Muslim animals, you know? They are Muslim Muslim pigs, Muslim rats, Muslim cats, Muslim Muslim horses, Muslim donkeys. They gather because they want to save Prophet Abraham, the Kbir, and they come all of them doing jihad, and everybody brings some water with him. Like, <laughs> even mosquitoes, by the way. They put mm -hmm. water in their mouth, brother, and they go over the fire and Abraham, and they throw, uh, you know, it's like helicopters, everything you can imagine. It's a chaos, a million of mosquitoes and insects and donkeys and horses and even pigs. Uh, you know, the chimpanzee, chimpanzee was pissing on the fire. Unbelievable. I mean, it was a scene. And then if the fire, Allah, he said to the fire, be cool. So what this, what this drama is about, if the fire is not going to burn Abraham anyway, who is the one who made the animals do this? To be honest, I told F4CP, I'm being truthful with you. I did not know about this papa here. I did not know about this. But these animals. Every Muslim he called me, he gave me an answer, he says I do not know. If you see your comment in the top comment section in the previous videos, people will think that you are a scholar, and you Christian prince is running away from you, and the Christian prince he cannot answer you, and blah 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 blah, and now today you call me, and then I don't know, and I don't know, and then I do not know, and to be honest with you, I do not know. So the answer now, I don't know. Nice to meet you, Mr. I don't know. Change your name, your name is not Zafar, your name is I don't know. So listen, when the, when the, uh, 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 even if you do not know, I'm asking you to use your brain if you have any, in case you have any. So here it says that all the animals, all the animals, every dabba, all animals in the world, except the lizard. Yeah. Everything, everything. They try, even, you know, every, all, of, all of them, they try to stop the fire, except this. Why? Who is the one who made the animals to come from around the world to stop the fire on Abraham? Looked like at that time the fire department was the job of the animals. To be honest, is this a hadith now on the on the screen you you've got up now? Yeah. Yeah. No, this is not hadith. This is Washington Post article. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, you are just, asking me if this hadith it says the prophet said it says Abu Musab said and you are asking me if this is hadith it says the, the prophet of Allah blah blah so do you think this is so what is going to be obviously it's a hadith do you think in Washington Post they say Aisha she said what's wrong with Muslims Aisha it is he's get called because the prophet Allah told us that there was nothing they did not stitch with the fire for Iran except animals and she did not um, so he did not kill it kill don't touch your nose man I see you in the camera I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not touching the screen. oh you are touching something else okay I, sorry I got you wrong <laughs> I'm on the screen now again okay read read okay read to be honest yeah this hadith I never, I, I never knew. Don't you think this is a far that your God is a stupid God and your prophet is a silly prophet and he is not a prophet? Do you really believe in this story? Do you be honest with me? Do you really believe in this story? There's many stories going around that we can't answer. I'm not, many. I'm not asking you if you can answer or not. I'm asking you, do you really believe in the story? Yeah, I do. If, if, if it's true, it's true. Well, that's, that's mean you're it's stupid. True. No, I'm not stupid. Okay, you are stupid because look at what happened. You are the one who says to me that Allah, he said to the fire, cool down, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If the fire is cooling down anyway, isn't going to burn Abraham anyway, what is the need of those animals? And what, what a prophet he mean for animals? They are animals. Yeah. Are you Muslim believing that those animals are Muslims and, and Abraham was their prophet? And he was teaching them too? No, no, he wasn't. He wasn't you know what? Uh, I think, I think, I think, based on this story, Abraham was the person we heard about him who is born in the jungle and his name is Tarzan. I think. No, no. Why not? 
because as you see, he have a strong relationship with all the animals, brother. So Tarzan, if you read the story of Tarzan, based upon him, uh, he was a person. Uh, he, you know, have a strong relationship with monkeys, chimpanzee, all animals. They love him, man. I mean, Tarzan, he is here. Forget ever about everything. So Tarzan, peace be upon him. He, uh, you know, he, when he is in trouble, the animals come, the monkeys come, the chimpanzee comes from everywhere. So I think Abraham is a prophet Tarzan. And this CP, is. CP, was this salvation? Was this with salvation? We what? were talking about hell. Here we go. This is about heaven salvation. This is about hell. This is about fire. So who is going? No, no, no. Uh, the Don't the one hell. the one who Don't will take hell. you to salvation is a cartoon maker. Uh, don't you see how no. stupid this story is? So now, 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 Abraham, Abraham became a Tarzan, and now monkeys okay, and chimpanzees and the pigs and dogs and chickens and the cows and and lizards. And, I mean, everybody is involved in this story. This is this is uh, the book of Kalida and Dumna in Arabic. I don't know what they call it in in, in you know the, uh, in English. So so listen. You're a prophet. You're a prophet, Abraham. Why the why the animals coming to rescue him? Well, if Allah sent animals, then it's cool. Why? If you just said to me that Allah He stopped the fire, cannot burn him no more. So what the point of those animals? And how all it says all animals, all animals. So the white pigs want to save Abraham. That means they are good. They are not the enemy of Allah, and we, there's nothing wrong with them. Why donkeys? Why dogs? Why cats? What is what is God? So what is what this drama is about? And you know, when when Muslim you say except the lizard, who is the lizard? Then is is lizard is a shaitan? No. Well, as you see, shaitan himself. If lizard is not shaitan, shaitan is not putting fire. Who is the one who put the fire? So shaitan, if he is not lizard, why only lizard decide to hate Ab what what Abraham hated to lizard? Do you think he was like dating his wife or something? No, no. no. Okay, so why, why, why lizard? He hates uh, Abraham. What is there? What is behind this hate? This has got no importance to me, Abraham CP. This has got no importance to me. This is not important to me. This topic here. Okay, this you see. Old... No, I'm oh, just this... showing you. I'm just showing you that you Muslims. When you speak about hell and heaven, it's a stupid. Okay, let me ask you: Do is monkeys going to go to heaven? What's that? No, there is no animals that are going to be uh, judged and then go to heaven or hell. No, you see humans and jinns. Well, that's that's mean that you are not a Muslim. Look what the Quran says. According to the Quran, Allah He gave Quran to the animals too. Where? What do you mean where? You don't know where? Don't touch your nose again. I mean, come on, please stop touching your nose, man. The camera is on. I'm not touching my nose. I'm not touching my nose. Okay. Uh, let us read the Quran together. According to the Quran, Allah He gave the animals Quran, and they are Muslims. Chapter the six. Animals. Chapter six, verse number thirty-eight. Yeah, it says all the creatures Allah He gave them a book and they did not destroy anything of the book, and Allah will gather them in the day of judgment and will judge between them. And you are the one who says to me, no, this is not going to happen. There are animals. No, wait. Let me answer now because on judgment day we know that all animals are be judged for their actions. Simple, but they are not. Animals going to will be judged for their action. Yeah, all of them. But you said to me the opposite a second ago. You said animals will not be judged. I said to you, they will not be going to heaven or hell. I said they be. They, they'll so be what the point? What the point to judge between them if they will not go to heaven and hell? Is that waste of time? No, because there be there are certain animals who have who have done right and wrong. There's certain okay, animals. Okay, guys. There's there's animals who they are doing right and wrong. Okay, if if you will not send them to heaven and hell, what the point of judgment? Because because those that they have killed, they need to. Uh, they they need you know their. Uh, to take revenge, revenge on these animals. Revenge? You know? Oh, okay. Like, so, okay, so like now, it. okay, now, my, my friend, a mosquito, she did uh, stink. Reason, then uh, that animal can get so, switched. Okay, what is the good reason an animal can kill other animal? 
What's that? You said if an animal kill an animal for not a good reason, what is a good reason for animal to kill other animal? The the only way you can kill an animal for like is for not like a uh, like a uh, tiger killing a, a deer for food for it's, if it's, it's for okay. food. Okay, so if so if uh, if uh, if two goats are fighting, Allah will judge between them. Is that correct? If if one of them doing wrong against the other, then okay. It's simple. If there is two goats are if there is two goats are fighting, and yeah. one of them she hit the other one and she caused the other one to lose her baby. Both are goats. Is Allah going to judge between them? Yeah. Why? Judge. Why? Huh? Why? Because in the day, yeah, everybody's got, everyone, everyone's gonna take. Uh, no, he has, he has got judge. Everyone had the sins, but the sins. So, like the, so the, 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 so the goat she committed sin. Any animal that that does something wrong. Okay. Is gonna get if a good. monkey is a female co a monkey, she slept with the three, four monkeys. Is she committing sin? I don't. Uh, I, I don't know the rule of this, but animals doing this kind of stuff. But what I what I know, if they do wrong against another, they only well, according to the hadith, you're you know according to you, you Muslims, the monkeys are Muslims. And yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, she agree. Monkeys are Muslims, mashallah. So now here it says mm -hmm. that a monkey she committed fornication, and then her people they gather the sheikhs and they say takbir allahu akbar and they gather again and they stone the female monkey for committing fornication what do you think there's the i don't know if there's any such thing about animals doing this kind of stuff fornication if it's right or wrong i have I a hadith in front of you the hadith is in front of you it says this is the campaign of your prophet saying during the, the during the pre-Islamic period of the ignorance, I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoning it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse. I too stoned oh. it. even the guy he joined the stoning. All the Muslims monkeys are Muslims. Are you agreed? You said monkeys are Muslims. Where the monkeys they learned that this is the punishment of uh, fornication is stoning to death. Where they learned that from? I don't know, the monkeys. Yeah, they are monkeys. Know, Did Allah send them a chimpanzee prophet? They are not, they're not stupid. The, the animals are not, are not stupid, you know. Lions so, are stupid. so how come you are stupid, but animals are not? We, we, we humans, are, we humans are higher than animals. But, uh, <laughs> but, but as you see, the animals, they knew the rules. But you don't. Each time I show you something, you say, I do not know. To be honest with you, I do not know. Those are monkeys. You did not go to school. They did not go recite Quran. Yet they knew about fornication and they knew the, the punishment of his turning to death. And this is the verse which even the goat, she ate it in the Quran, from the Quran. So now, how the monkey, she knew that this is called fornication. I never heard of a monkey. He, you know, she, she have a husband and she stay with one husband and she is wearing hijab. And now, if she committed fornication, uh, they, they will kill her. They will stone her. What is that? It could be true. It, it could, could be, be true. true. It could be true. Did you see anything in the zoo? Do you go to the zoo in London? Listen, we we don't know exactly what the. Why well, you Muslims in the speaker corners don't go and preach the Quran and Islam to the monkeys in the zoo so they can stop fornication? Isn't happen for that animals, aren't it? They're animals. They're... So who they are animals? Look, they are animals, but they don't do fornication. If they do fornication, the monkeys will stone her. So I wanted to prove to me that such a thing is true, that really monkeys, they will stone a female monkey if she committed fornication. As I know that monkeys, they sleep with their mother. The mother. All animals, they sleep with yeah. their mother. So since when? This is, this is, don't you think this is garbage? It's not garbage at all. No, 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 not garbage. It's not garbage. No. Ah, okay. No. So do you think main, do you think monkeys are see, Muslims? See, see, do you agree that monkeys see, are Muslims? Do you agree actually? Already you said yes. Okay, let me ask you then. Yeah. As long as we are the talking about question, huh? see but the main question, yeah. The main question is who is going to heaven or hell? The Muslim or Christians. I show you the I show you the Quran. I show you the Quran with a clear proof. It says Muslim, they all of them they will go to hell. Here we go. Again, here we go. This is a chapter 19, verse number 71. It says it's a decree that every one of you shall enter hell. And you'll keep saying to me the main question, what's wrong with you? I just gave you the answer from your books. 
and the hell they're gonna walk past it. They're gonna walk past it. That's a commentary of what has to what has to what has to know this Quran. Wayne, when Kumu illa read to her, the Arabic is so clear. Not a one of you, but he, but he will enter it. It is Kana Allah Rabbika Hutman Makdia. It is, it is a must, it's a decree. So it's a destiny. I've already asked this question a week ago. Okay, do you think this monkey who committed fornication, she will go to heaven or to hell? Oh, forget the monkeys. We're talking about ourselves. Why are you talking monkeys for animals for? I don't see a different. No, this is what you the Christians and well, Muslims. You, Muslims you stone a woman if she committed adultery. Monkey, they stole women, they committed adultery. So you say to me, we are different? No, but I told you before, the animals do not go to heaven or hell. Simple, so we don't care about okay. them. Okay, you they said to me, help. you said to me that Allah will judge between the animals in the day of judgment, correct? He isn't punish one, he isn't punish them, and uh, then he, what kill them all. Do? Okay, uh, a, a goat, she uh, attack other goat. What Allah will do to the first goat? He will put her in jail. He's in a, he's in Polish somehow, and then kill him off. Every every animals get but now killed. He, but, the, but now he is being bad. He killed them both, so he is punishing the first goat for killing the first, second goat, and then he will kill them anyway. He then he's in Polish the wrong ones in a, such a way, and then he's in put them all to death. Simple, but that's not important to me. This okay. one. Okay, so the, the, listen, the, listen. The, okay, your God in the day of judgment, when there's two goats mm -hmm. are fighting, he will Why bring them. I'm just showing everybody how stupid Islam is. And I'm showing you that. Do, listen, listen. Here we go. <laughs> this is two goats. This is two goats. And this is a hadith in the front of you. Two goats, they were fighting. Hmm? Two goats are fighting. Okay. And then, let me see if I can find uh in english maybe we cannot find in english but we should be able uh let us see okay maybe we cannot find in english so anyway actually we, we can use google translation we can use google translation read, read with me here carefully this is google translation i will use google translation two goats they were fighting together the prophet said and one of them, she caused the other one to lose her baby. And Allah will judge between them in the day of resurrection. Yeah. Hmm. How? What do you mean how? Do Allah give the goats the consciousness to know what abortion mean, what losing baby mean? Do they knew those animals? I might know. Do the do, do the goats know what sin is? Yeah. How? They 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 know what's right and wrong. How how they knew what's no. right what's wrong? How how they knew? Animals know what's what's right and wrong. They they are not. How how how? They're I'm not. asking you how they knew what's right what's wrong. We are talking about religion now. Because Allah has given the ability for them to know what's right and wrong. Okay, uh, 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 Safars, Safaraz, whatever your name. Uh, when I saw, I saw a dog licking his penis. Do you think he was doing a pollution? Stop. I saw a dog and a cat. Yeah. They lick their ass and they lick their penis. Do you think they are doing a pollution? They are Muslims. No. So how they knew they should lick it? Then you said to me they knew. Why they are doing Look that? Because the animals, the animals are not are not are, are not clean like us. They are not they they're not like us. Lot. But you they told are, me they knew what is right, what's wrong. So do the animals they pray to Allah? What's that? Do the animals pray to Allah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, they that's why they are Muslims. Yeah, but they are, yeah, but they're, okay. yeah, but the animals in the. Okay, but they are Muslims. You agreed. If the animals see feed, they're not humans like us. Look, you are on. the one who said, yeah, okay, I'm asking you, do the animals pray to Allah? They must do, yeah. Okay, so they are Muslims. Yeah, okay. Muslims, I know that. Okay, Muslims, exactly. Muslims. So, so why, Muhammad, do you want to kill dogs if they are Muslims? He don't want to kill them, it's the, it's the, the black ones. No, he ordered in the beginning to kill all dogs. 
he he and, did not want them to be in the city of Akka no, because they are no, owned. No, 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 of course, listen. First of all, it's where he lives. So he don't want dogs where he lives. Why? Because dogs, they, they hate him. They knew he's evil. Dogs, they can no, feel. No, 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 don't lie. Don't lie, don't lie. They are unclean. That's why they're unclean. Well, are you clean? <laughs> yes, I'm clean. You are not. The dogs are clean. Okay, it's let a me ask you. Let me ask you. If a dog, he have lice, does that make him dirty? What's that? What is it? If a dog have lice, dogs have lice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that because they are dirty? No, it's because of the of the of the mouth is dirty. It's, it's unclean. The main part is a mouth. Okay. All that saliva. So their okay, saliva the only is making them not clean. Is your saliva clean? Yes, because yes, but I'm I'm human, obviously. Well, according clean. according to science, your saliva is more dirty than the toilet seat. Go check. My saliva yeah is clean than the animals. Simple. How you know? Because they're animals, they're dirty, they're, they're, they're not okay. clean. They're, so, they're not... so, uh, is, is, uh, so only the saliva of the dog is dirty because Muhammad, he says, if you touch the dog, you have to wash, etc. time, not only saliva, right? So is the dog is najis, See? is he najis, doesn't matter what we touch, or only if we touch his mouth? Yep, yeah, and, that's, and that's a well-known fact by the health experts around the world. They say that. As well, that okay. The what they, what they say? Tell me, tell me what they say. Is okay, but I'm saying to you in Islam, is the dog all of it is najis or only the saliva? I've been told that the main part is the saliva. The main part. So if you touch a dog, is okay in Islam? I've been told. I've been told you can touch it, but not the saliva, not the mouth part. Keep away from okay. the mouth. So, what, what, uh, so what about the blood of the dog? Is it is it clean? To be honest, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know about the blood part, but the main part is this. Okay, slime, I have, slime. A, I have a friend. He take a shower in a spot of water, like a jacuzzi, have dead dogs in it, and women blood from period and garbage. Is that okay? CP, we got more important things to talk about heaven and hell, and you're well, talking. About this is about heaven and hell. Here. Your prophet obviously already in hell because he is filthy, dirty. What kind of a prophet? What kind of a prophet, what kind of a prophet, your camera is on again, what kind of a prophet is going to jump in a water, have dead dogs and women blood of them, period, and garbage? Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't there. What do you mean you do not know? Do you, do you think this is crazy? If I right now, if you're Muslim, you have a videotape of me jumping in water, have dead dogs and women blood from period. Aren't you going to make a scandal about it? Hey, Christian Prince, we found him, you know, jumping with dead dogs, water, and women blood from period and garbage. Hey, crazy Christian Prince, prove it, you know. Why you don't question the behavior, the mental illness of your prophet? Why a person, he have a brain, will do such a thing? <coughs> he wasn't, he wasn't. He cough, yeah, cough. <coughs> yeah. Drink water, yeah. You need a lot of water. Be sure that the water doesn't have dead dogs and blood from period. Uh, have you ever did evolution like your prophet or you Muslim Sunni don't follow the step of the prophet? Because now, if I am a Sunni, I have to order some dead dogs and women blood from period and some garbage yeah. and mix it in the bathtub and then I do evolution from the water because we should follow the steps of the prophet. No. This was already there. He did. He did not put the things in there. It was already there. Oh, okay. So he, they are already there, and Muhammad he jumped there because they like it there. No, just a one off. I don't. I don't know. Why but he, he like it? Okay. okay. What do you think? Do you think is this normal behavior? No. If he if if he said it's clean, it's clean. How it's a clean okay. and there's dead dogs in it and women blood from period and garbage. Even even translation translation saying garbage, not me. Garbage, garbage. Do you see what garbage mean? It's a small yeah. amount of water. It's not running water. <coughs> it's a still water. It's a stinky water, and the water color changed. So how in yeah. the world, Muhammad, he do such a thing? So how we can follow this guy? This guy is having mental illness, obviously. No mental illness. He's not gonna be mental illness. So what? So what have? So what you have? Tell me. I'm, I, you know, I don't want to be. I don't want to be rude. Okay, I'm not going to say the word mental illness. I will say Muhammad is obviously stupid. If if he had mental illness here, how could he have got the whole of Arabia to 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 follow him? By the sword. Come on. By the sword. Arabia. By the sword. 
by the sword. By the sword. By the sword. If you go to the chapter of Al Fatih, it says, when the Fatih came, when the victory came, everybody entered Islam by waves. Is that correct? When they entered Mecca, they did not even touch one of the enemies. This is a lie. This is a lie. Only he, he only he, uh, uh, you know, uh, first of all, Mecca is his people, his cousin. You know, why somebody want to kill his families? And Muhammad is trying to take over them. He don't want to kill them all because if he killed everybody, nobody will support him. But I'm asking you, is it true? The Quran says when the victory in, by the sword came, people they start in, in, going in, inside Islam by waves, not by one, not by two, by thousands. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. How come? Because of the sword. And is it true when your prophet he died, Muslims they start reading Islam by waves? All right, let me answer. Let, let me answer that. So look, because, uh, they because... enter Islam because of fear. They leave Islam because fear is gone. They thought Muhammad is gone. And then Abu Bakr, he launched a war. It's called the, the War of Apostate. Is that correct? Against who? It's called the War of Apostate. Right away when Muhammad died, people are left Islam, correct? Not all of them. Not all of them, exactly. So what you do, you, uh, you attack them by the sword and you force them to convert again. So the gang of Muhammad is the one who made Muhammad victorious. It's not Allah. It's not his. Uh, it is the savage, the savagery of the gang, ISIS. It's not. It's so not it's you, not, are, you are trying to escape all this stupidity. Look, we started from one thing, and the, mo the most important is, you agreed that the angels are we are questioning the decision of Allah, and Allah He told them, it's not up to you to tell me what is right, what's wrong. So what kind of angels? They call them angels, and they are questioning God' decision. That's not important for me. The most important for me is who is going to hell, heaven hell, you, you or will me. Go to hell. I, I, show, I, I showed you the reference, you will go to hell. No, no, no. That is not. I asked the commentary of that from the <laughs> Sheikh. The listen, Senate, listen, what? listen, 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 listen. The Quran says, the Quran says, the Quran says that the Christian, they say only Christian and Jews will go to heaven. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. The Allah, He said to them, what? The Jews of Christians say that either that we are saved, whatever, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, chapter 2, verse 111, correct? And then, but Allah look, basically. But look what the stupid Quran is saying. They are saying only us. Allah said to them, Give me your proof if you are truthful, which means only you. So he agreed they will go to heaven. <laughs> no, he, he said to them, Give just us take your care, evidence. Just take care. Call me next time. We are done with you. So, guys, look at this. This is a very stupid religion. The verse in the front of us, chapter 2, verse 111, confirm that we are the one who will go to heaven. Allah is just having opinion saying, well, if you are truthful, that only you, only you, give us your proof. If only you, give us your proof. And here the question is, what kind of God is asking people to give the proof, but he don't provide it? Who is the one who is more capable? God? Or a human, why you don't give them the proof that they are wrong? Isn't it stupid that you are the Almighty and you are asking a silly human being? He's a human being, he is in disability, he cannot do anything, he can talk. You are asking him for the proof, yet you yourself you cannot provide the proof. Aren't you the Almighty God? Aren't you the one who can make the water gold and the gold water? Aren't you the one who can make the whole world by saying a statement? So you are asking them to give a proof? Where is your proof? Where is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? That a sperm coming from the backbone and women they have a sperm coming from the bone, but the ribs? Or that Allah he put mountain in the top of the earth? Or Allah do not know which one he created first, the stars or the trees? A book of contradiction? Or Moses people, they have the Samarian in the time of Moses? Or the Christian, they have wrong trinity? So you are asking them for a proof and you fail in every, every step, every aspect of religion. Fiction stories, lizard, Donkey, goats, everybody is a Muslim. The stones say the Prophet, say Assalamu Alaikum, Prophet of Allah. Stones, where is the proof? 
So you're asking them for a proof. Okay, show us the stones who will talk. Muhammad, he said, that the day of judgment, the black stone is going to have a tongue and a mouth. It's a stone. Is that literally? Yes, I can take it metaphorically. That will not be a problem then. But the Muslim, they themselves agree that this is not metaphorically. When the stone, they say, Assalamu alaikum to Muhammad, how come nobody hear it except Muhammad? Isn't it a clear sign that this guy here voices is stupid, he's mental? When Muhammad, he jump with water, have dead dogs, isn't it a clear sign that Muhammad is mentally ill? Dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage, stinky water, and then he claimed that nothing make it bad water, nothing. And then if a, if, a, if a dog, he lick your dish, you have to wash it seven times, and then we find him that he is taking a shower, he's washing himself, to preparing himself, this is more important than washing, it's a pollution, it's to prepare himself to meet his God in a prayer. How he do it? By water, have dead blood, women blood and dead dogs and garbage, stinky garbage. Even the Hadith says, stinky, stinky, stinky. I'm not the one who says that. Stinky. So my friend, what if I show you that even your prophet was a stinky? You're a prophet, he said. And I think Zafar, he is the one who posted in the comment section in the previous video. Uh, when I said that the prophet, he stink, he said to me that the prophet said that he will not, the earth will not consume his, his, his body, the body of the prophet. And then we find in the hadith that Ibn Abbas says, He is a stinky like air or human stink, all a human they stink. In different hadith says, which means his stomach is full of fart. And I believe not only Muhammad's stomach full of fart, his brain too. So here it says that body of a prophet will not be consumed. Well, let us do this. A challenge for all Muslims will prove the fate of Islam to be true or not. Open the grave of your prophet today. If you find the body of your prophet the same as it was 1400 years ago, that means Muhammad is a truthful. If his body is rotten, that means he's a liar. But for me, I do not need to wait because the hadith from their book says that he stink. وَقَدْ رَبَ بَطْنَهُ رَبَ بَطْنَهُ I don't know if you know. Uh, there, is a, there is a movie actually about a person. He, uh, like he, uh, uh, I, I think airplane fell down or a boat. I'm not sure. Uh, so, he is the only one in the island, and he found a dead body. I don't know if anyone knows the name of the movie. And because he is so desperate to talk to somebody, he put the dead body in front of him. The guy is dead. Just to talk to him. You know, you lose your mind. And then after that, this dead body, his, belly start, his stomach became so big, and he started breaking wind. He's dead, breaking wind, yes. Because the, the gas inside the body has no place no more to go. The, the stomach cannot hold it, the, the, the belly. So it's going to come out naturally. So, and this is exactly what happened to Muhammad. He is full of fart. And not only he says, he says, you know, like the, uh, like the fingers, when the dead man, a man, he, he die, his fingers, they will shrink. They will not be relaxed. He says, he, he you know, his, 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 his body is farting, his stomach is full of fart, and his uh, fingers, they shrink. And all of this, according to the hadith, just be after a day and a night only, which means in less than 24 hours, this is happening. In less than 24 hours. So Muhammad lied when he said, 
pray for me for your prayer will be pleased pleased in front of for me and why the prayer will please for Muhammad is he God so now he's dead he's alive is he dead or alive our friend Muhammad we made a video just two days ago about and the mental illness of Allah and the mental illness of Muhammad because the mental illness of Allah is the mental illness of Muhammad this man he think he is the greatest in everything so pray, pray, your prayer will be placed in front of me. Who are you? Aren't you just a human being like everybody? No, he's not. The prayer of every Muslim will come to Muhammad, yet he is dead. Are you dead or alive? And how you can review the prayer? And what is the point that your body will not be consumed, but what does this have to do with your prayer placing to you? It's a word. It's a request of a believer. A request should go to God, not to Muhammad. This is why you see this ill person, he promised the followers, you know, he, when Khadija, she was dying, he said to Khadija, send, send my greeting to my wives. Khadija, she was shocked. She said, did you marry other women beside me? Muhammad will never dare, dare to decide. He's making fun of her. She's dying now. She is the rich woman soon. In an hour or two, he will take all her money. He said, no, but Allah, he promised me to marry, marry the mother of Jesus. Look how filthy he is. And the wife of the Pharaoh. And the sister of Moses. Every famous woman is going to be in the bed of Muhammad. Even the one who passed a long time ago, for he is sick. Filthy. Mental illness. You think he is God. You think everything is exists for him. And actually the hadith is so clear. He says that Allah told Muhammad that if not you, Muhammad, nothing is created. If not you, Muhammad, and I repeat, this is not me saying that. Muhammad, he claimed. If not you, let me get the hadith. If not you, Muhammad, I created nothing. Period. Were it not for you, I would not have created the creation. Let me give the link for everybody so you can read with me. Muhammad is the center of the universe. God, the Quran says, Allah and his angels are praying on the Prophet. Everybody praying on the Prophet. He is the center of the universe. The God is exist just for Muhammad. And what God he do is just for Muhammad. What the creation for, for Muhammad. What the God exists for, for Muhammad. If not you, I would not have created the creation. What kind of cult this cult is? Muhammad is trying to copy the Bible everything created for him and by him, that is Jesus. That is Jesus. Muhammad is a satanic man, hired by Satan, trying to replace Jesus. As simple as that. If not you, I will not create anything. The trees, the stars, everything. And this is another website too.
you will come the far next time you know bring your shake with you so we can have better time you know even though i don't like it how you touch your nose when you are speaking in the camera it was weird and the way you move your nose left and right especially when you speak about lizard you start moving your head like a lizard i'm not i mean that's not nice we have to show respect for lizard remember allah will judge between us and them in the day of judgment brother so if a doggy did bite me in the day of judgment brother allah will bring the dog now allah will speak to the dog he will say to him oh, oh, oh. the dog he will say oh, oh, oh. so allah will say to him why you did bite christian prince the dog he will say oh, 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 oh. what the heck translator so allah will judge in the day of judgment and this is a true story coming from the true prophet And two goats, they fight together, and one of them cause abortion to the other goat. And Allah will punish the first goat for causing abortion. I mean, this is the God who ordered rape, killing, stealing, and now he is judging between goats? Look like Allah have a lot of time in his hand. I mean, he is not busy at all. He will spend how many thousand million years judging between all the goats in the world? He will judge between them mosquitoes, cats, rats. I killed the cockroach yesterday. Is that okay, brother? Did I kill an innocent person? Because he was innocent, by the way. He did nothing to me. Unbelievable. What a stupid religion. I want to say thank you, all guys, for being here. Don't forget to. Uh, uh, the source that Muhammad written in the pillars of the throne, it's in front of you, the website we are showing. Search for this Hadith Lawlaka. Hadith Lawlaka, search for it. You know, the admin posted the link for you already. You will find it says here that the name of Muhammad, when, when, uh, uh, when Adam, he commits sin, when Adam, he commits sin, uh, he asked Allah forgiveness. This is the reference in front of you. The Prophet of Allah said that when Adam made a mistake, commit sin, he recognized Muhammad. When I have not, you know, so no, sorry, he said, Oh Allah, I asked for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Allah said, Oh Adam, how do you know recognize Muhammad when I have not yet created him? Adam said, Oh Allah, when you created me, Allah, and blew into me, Allah, spirit, I lifted my head and I saw written on Allah, Arsh, which means the throne, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad al Allah. So I got to know that you would only join your name with him is the most beloved to you. Did you see the word join your name? Muslims are mushrikeen, kuffar. They join the name of a man with the name of God. This man, he worship himself. Even this, uh, even Adam's sin is forgiven for the sake of Muhammad. Imagine. And imagine that Adam, he knew how to write Arabic and how to read Arabic. Imagine. The guy he is just made, he's not even finished. He look up, he see Arabic. And he was able to read Arabic. He can read Muhammad in Arabic, brother. He can read the Shahada in Arabic, brother. And that's why and you see Allah is surprised. Look, Allah is being stupid here. He said to himself, like, what the heck? How you know, Adam? How you recognize Muhammad when I have not yet created him? And the Muslim, they say Allah knew the future. He knew what you think. So how come we do not know how Adam, he found out? Allah was astonished, like, what the heck, how he knew about Adam? Adam, he gave him a finger, he says, you stupid idiot. His name is all over your chair. It's like, you know, you speak to, uh, you know, you go, you go in the hospital, you say to the nurse, hey, hi, Susie, how are you? He said, how do you name my name? Well, you have an ID in your chest, you stupid. So the stupid God, his name is all over the chair. And he's asking Adam, how you know Muhammad? It says Muhammad, 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 Muhammad everywhere. 
And he is wondering, like, what the heck? How he knew Muhammad? Genius. Islam is the religion of intelligence. High IQ. That's why you're a Christian. You don't fit there. It's fit for those who believe in endless penis. Your penis is endless. And the vagina will be like that. What a tunnel. You can save their weapon. Somebody sent just one vagina to the Ukrainian now in the war. So they can put all the weapon there. Putin will never find it. So my friends, as you see, Islam is a silly, stupid cult. And garbage in, garbage out. Nothing will change. And here I go, this is the link again for this hadith here. You can join. I gave you the link already. Feel free to join there. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. I hope we had a good time. Don't forget to subscribe. Invite your friends. Here we have real-time teaching. This is not, you know, five-minute, ten-minute videos like many people do. Here there's a real school and it's for free. Everything we give for free. Our service for free. And the Lord is our provider. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. You can join us in Patreon if you like to receive notification when we will go live. Take care. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And we prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 